What's up guys, it's Chad from Overland Addict and we're here at the campsite tonight and we're making some drinks. I got my buddy Chris Holloway from More Expo. What's hey up, buddy, man? Oh, just living the dream, man. This is a blast. Uh, just got back from from a good day trail riding and now we get to make a, a cocktail. Yeah, we're gonna make the Moscow Mule tonight, right? Yep, All we right. are. One of mine and my wife's favorites. Well, Have I've you never, ever had one? I've never had a Moscow Mule. Welcome to the club. It's a popular <laughs> drink, man. Uh, very nice. Uh, this is a summer drink. You know, it's a little cool out here tonight, but... We can do it. I think we're just kind of uh, looking for something a little citrusy and a little uh, bubbly and something nice, easy to make while we're camping. All right, Chris, so how you make the Moscow Mule, man? Show us how it's done. All right, so if you wouldn't mind, would you get us some ice in those yes, while I start working on this? And um, the only thing I need for this is a little bit of Tito's uh, vodka. You can use any vodka that you prefer. Uh, this is really the main ingredient, ginger beer. Okay. It it just gives it that citrus. Is this top alcoholic or not? It's non-alcoholic. Yeah. Not. Nope. Okay. You can pick this up anywhere. Actually, when I get heartburn, yeah, I just drink a little bit of ginger beer, and that's kind of my go-to. Wow. Uh, to cure it. So try that at home, and let us know in the comments if it works or not. <laughs> <laughs> Only say nice thing in the comments. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what we're gonna do is um, this one's pretty easy, and you don't even really have to do much measurement. We're just gonna put a... Just kinda eyeball it a little bit. Yep, yeah, just eyeball it. We wanna go about two ounces of uh, vodka in this. Okay. You know, we don't want anybody getting out of hand. Yeah. Right? Especially, especially not, you. Especially not at camp. <laughs> not at camp, no sir. But then just a... Uh, we'll splash the ginger beer. Yep, yeah, splash right. the ginger beer. And then uh, here's where it really gets its flavor. What we're gonna All do is... Lime, yeah, right? oh yeah. So we, uh, we squeeze the whole darn thing in there. All right, nice good wedge. And toss then, it on yeah, in there. Yeah, right. toss it on in there. This is easy, I can do this, I think. Yep, you can make this at home, and I think you're really gonna like it. Now, we'll just mix everything up there and make it real Give nice. Give it a good stir, yeah. Yep. Chad, I think this is gonna be one of your new go-to drinks. I know you like the old fashioned. That's my favorite, but this could this could do it, man. This could take over its place. Let's try it out. So if somebody wanted to pick one of these up yeah. when they were in Springfield, Missouri, or maybe, around maybe April. Maybe April time frame. Yeah, yeah, where would they get one? I bet they could go to the Moore Expo, to the Overland Attic Recovery Room. I bet they might find one of these. That is gonna be so much fun. I'm looking forward to the recovery Can't room. Wait. I know it's gonna be a blast. Cheers, Cheers bud. I think you're right. Might be a new favorite. That's good, That's isn't good it? That's good stuff, yep. Man, I'll tell you what, that is a summer drink, but it's good year it's round. It's refreshing. Mm. Let's finish these up and we'll hang around the fire with these guys. That sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, cheers, cheers everybody. Mm.